let's get to our next game. We want to look at North Melbourne and Hawthorne. This game is tomorrow night at Eddie Had Stadium, and we're going to check in with Sean Atley right now. Sean, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for your time. How you going, guys? Thanks for having me. Mate, how's the pre-season tracking for you guys? And is the coach OK? Yeah, no, the, Brad's OK. He, uh, he wasn't at training today, called in sick, but um, he's the shortest that he's going to turn up tomorrow. So, um, But, no, the pre-season's been a long one, as it is for all clubs, I suppose. Uh, we started back in November and managed to get to this stage now pretty unscathed, so, uh, which is a good sign. Sean, I'm looking at your pretty little picture there on the screen and it says, Sean Attlee, defender. When are we going to see Sean Attlee, the midfielder? There's been, there was a lot of talk a couple of years ago that you'd move a little bit more into the middle of the ground. Is that going to happen a little bit more this year? Uh, no, I don't think so this year. I mean, the last two uh, pre-seasons I trained with the midfield and then um, tried to play midfield at the start of the year but then got booted to the back line. So uh, <laughs> this year I've, uh, I've done most of the defensive stuff with the defenders and, and probably looking to play there all year. That's, uh, I saw uh, in uh, Nat's news bulletin before that you guys got to train on Eddie Head um, today, I believe. I don't know, it would have been yesterday. No, today. Uh, today it was. Uh, yeah. That's a bit of a rarity, a bit of a treat, uh, actually being able to go out and train on the ground that you're going to play on. Yeah, no, we don't get to do it very often, maybe once a year or, or something like that, I think. So, um, yeah, no, we trained there this morning and did all our way to the club and then drove there. And uh, we had a bit of a... A sponsor's function is there, there after the training as well. So a few of the boys hung around and got to know some of the, the blokes that put money into the club. So it was a good day for the club there. Given it's basically well, it's your home ground, is that something you wish you could do more often? You actually get more opportunity to train your game style on your home ground? Yeah, oh, it'd be great, I reckon. But, um, I mean, our, our oval at Arden Street supposedly Eddie had size anyway. So um, if you, you look at Geelong as well, they get to train on their home deck that they play on. So it'd be nice, but... Uh, I'm not sure if it's ever going to happen. Training always goes up a cog when you're training on the MCG or uh, or your home ground like Eddie Had Stadium. I want to ask you about uh, Sean Higgins had knee surgery. Will he be right yep. for round one? Yeah, he'll be right for round one. He was uh, he was putting his hand up to play this week, but I think uh, the two weeks extra break that he can get um, will be be best for him. It's, uh, we had uh, Jamie McMillan uh, on the show what, a couple of weeks ago mm. now, J-Mac, and uh, I believe you two have got the, the World Beaters, which is a little bit of fun, I think, on the North Melbourne yeah. website. We've got a little bit of footage here of you eating a little, some dry toast. Can you just talk us through, uh, I reckon this moment that we're about to see right now, got a little bit crook from it? Yeah, no, I, I don't know about those videos. I don't know about the, uh, how they've put them together. And, but, um, no, me and Jamie used to live together, so we used to do plenty of that sort of pranks and that sort of stuff. But um, we've moved away now, so I think we're, we'll be a bit more serious from now on. So not, not going down too well, the dry toast. Uh, Luke McDonald had an indifferent season last year. Do you see yourself lining up alongside him this year? Yeah, Luke's been pretty impressive this pre-season. Um, he's put on a bit of weight and he's come back and he's, He's probably in the top oh, six or eight in the running. So um, he's definitely a change, uh, I think, in his mentality coming back this season as opposed to the one before. And um, I think what he's shown so far in the NAB Cup games is uh, exciting for him for this year. Good to chat to you, Sean. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks for having me. Sean Atley joining us from North Melbourne.